All right, guys, Mark Rose here. I'm going to tell you everything about the Strike King brand new Zeus worm. Now, you're looking at this worm, you're going, okay, ribbon tail worm. What, you know, that's, there's only so much you can do with a, or talk about a ribbon tail worm. You throw it in hot uh, summertime months. There's nothing better than a ribbon tail worm when it's hot outside. But let me just go into uh, a lot of the features of this worm. I really wanted a casting worm uh, to fish ledges with and fish on the Tennessee River and things like that. And I felt like Strike King uh, in the lineup, this was a worm that was missing. So went right to work with the, with the lure designers at, at Strike King. And man, I think we've come up with a winner right here. First thing right out of the gate that is different on this worm than other ribbon tail worms is a completely cylinder body. This body is round, it doesn't have a flat side on it. And I'm gonna to talk to you about why I feel like that is important. First and foremost is that tail is always in line with the worm now. There's no flat side and there's no rolling action that you're gonna get roll, uh, fishing this worm. Whether you fish it on a jig head or you fit like a ledge jig head or you fish a Texas rig, it's always gonna come through the water. Water's gonna displace around it perfectly because again, it's round. Now, another thing about this worm, and we put a lot of thought into it and a lot of simple things in here that people don't really realize when you first look at it, but it's, it's gonna double up as a, a very versatile worm. One being, Every time you catch several fish on a worm, that what tears first, right up here where you where the where the hook hits against your Texas rig uh, hook, well, or the bait rubs against your Texas rig hook, well, with the Zeus worm, right here is where it'll tear, just right there, about eighth of an inch. So what we did is we made a ring right there, so you can take your scissors after that gets messed up. You can take your scissors, you can cut that part off, and as you can see, it's still got that little cup right there which rides right up against a weight and gives that natural presentation. It, it, it'll still fit right up against a peg, a uh, slip sinker, or a ledge head, really nice. And now you have a nine and three quarter inch worm or a little longer, and it's still gonna be able to catch you five or six more fish, you know? So that is feature number one. Uh, and, and again, that, that helps the worm double up as, as something different than just what you started with. Now, let's take it, let's say you're out there ledge fishing and you might wanna go smallmouth fishing and all, you don't have your Ned rigs or you don't have your wacky worms or you don't have your uh, Nico rig worms. Well, you take you go oh shoot my zeus worm is perfect so we take we again we put another ring right down here at the bottom and these rings don't do anything to the presentation and the profile of this worm still looks great going through the water as a 10 inch ribbon tail worm however you can take these rings right here take your scissors make a cut and again see how that's cupped in because we added the ring it's not just perfectly sawed off straight so now you can put your weight on the end of that put a little one off hook and you've got a perfect little wacky worm and we've another ring is put in there just so that there's a slice in it to give it a little bit more added action you put a little hook on that dude and it's got all kinds of action okay so now you've got a wacky worm or you've got a Nico rig worm. Nico rig, fishing it down there a little deeper, ledges, things like that, putting it on a drop shot. You can thread this, Texas rig it on a little drop shot, have a nice little drop shot worm. Also, let's say, okay, I didn't bring my Ned rig worms. I'm out here, it's perfect for Ned rig and I don't have my net. Oh, my Zeus worm. Also, we put another, that little slice that adds uh, a little bit of action to your wacky rig. Again, another ring right here. Cut that. Thread your Ned rig head on here. I've got one already rigged up right here. It's the same piece as I got in my hand. This is still, you know, 
it, we haven't cut this in yet so it's still nice and round it's that same piece of worm that you just saw me cut now it's right there on your ned rig and it's as you can see that little bit of that being a cylinder shaped worm also helps it with all these other presentations that is a perfect little ned rig that'll catch them small mouth and keep her large mouth if you need to keep her spotted bass what have you there you have it folks you have a zeus worm that does so much more than just a ribbon tail casting worm it helps you there's only so much room that we got in these bass boats you can't have everything out there so the zeus worm helps you do a whole lot with a worm at a good price point you get a lot of them in a package they come in this uh, green pumpkin color that you can fish smallmouth and things like that with so yeah zeus worm lots of different applications here folks